The film opens with Sophie and B kissing passionately. They have a romantic afternoon together where Sophie tells B that she loves her, but B never replies. The two are headed out for a party during an incoming hurricane at the home of Sophie's childhood friend David. Sophie and her friends are wealthy while B comes from an Eastern European town and has a job. Upon arriving at the house, B makes herself acquainted with the place before Sophie takes her outside to meet the others, including David, his girlfriend Emma, Alice, her older boyfriend Greg, and Jordan. They had another guest, Max, but he left the night before after a fight with David. The rest of the group seems surprised to see Sophie. Sophie goes into a room with David to talk privately. He tells her that Max hit him over something involving Emma. He also brings up how Sophie was in rehab for her drug addiction, and David questions why she has shown up. They also talk about their being uncomfortable with Alice having brought Greg, as they know little about him and with him being much older. Meanwhile, Jordan tells B to be careful around Sophie. The group hangs out and gets drunk and high, leading to them partying just as it starts to rain. They play a game where they have to take shots and slap each other. It is B's turn to slap David, but she hits too weak. David demonstrates by using the opportunity to hit Greg hard, causing the other girls to react in shock and disgust. They continue partying, and Sophie watches as Jordan dances closely with B, leading to her proposing that they play a game of bodies bodies bodies. The objective is for the players to draw papers to see who is picked as the killer, but they have to keep it a secret. They turn the lights out and have to hide or they will be killed. B walks around in the darkness with her phone on and tries to hide. After the game is over, Greg is seen as the victim. At first, it appears as though Greg might actually be dead, but he is just faking after David taps him in the nuts. While explaining the rules to B, David starts antagonizing Greg, leading to him saying he is going to bed. Afterward, while trying to figure out who the killer is, David suggests Emma. Things get tense when Alice reveals that Emma talks about her relationship with David and how they never have sex. David gets angry and smashes something before storming off. The girls continue to party until the power goes out at the house. B goes into the kitchen and finds David stumbling against the glass door, his throat having been slit. The other girls run outside to his aid, but he dies. They have no signal to call for help, and their car won't start. They run back into the house and fear that there is an actual killer among them. They suspect Max or Greg, as they both had motives against David. Alice protests, but the others force her to look for Greg. Jordan arms herself with a cleaver. The girls go to Alice's room and go through Greg's luggage. They find a knife, as well as a map with the house's location circled on it. The girls find Greg in the house's gym where he is sleeping and has headphones in. They question him about the items in his bag and accuse him of killing David, but he thinks it's a gag until he ends up grabbing a knife off one of them. The group agrees to put their weapons down, but a struggle occurs when Emma jumps on Greg's back. When he tries going for the knife again, B bashes his head with a kettlebell weight, killing him. Alice is left screaming and crying. Tensions continue to run high. Sophie blames Emma for what has happened, as they think Max might have killed David because of her. Sophie insults her and makes her run off. They later encounter each other in the kitchen again, where Sophie apologizes to Emma, who responds by kissing her. Sophie is put off and just gives her a bag of pills, while Sophie herself does some cocaine. Later on, Alice walks through the dark and comes across Emma dead at the bottom of the stairs after a nasty fall. The girls continue to blame each other, thinking one of them pushed Emma. Alice and Jordan turn their attention to B, believing that she has been lying to Sophie about who she is because they looked her up and saw that she didn't graduate from Utah State as she previously said. They think B is the killer, so Alice and Jordan force her out of the house into the pouring rain, with Sophie just sitting there in silence. B tries to find a way back inside and sees that Jordan has a gun on her. B crawls back inside through a doggy door. B confronts the girls and tries to warn Sophie about Jordan's gun. B then explains herself to Sophie and says that she went to Utah State for one semester and does work at the store she mentioned, but the one thing she kept from Sophie was that she was taking care of her mother, who has a borderline personality disorder. A piece of paper with an X falls out of Jordan's bag, meaning she was the killer for the game of bodies bodies bodies, so they think she is killing for real. Jordan then draws her gun on Sophie and B, thinking B is just lying. Another argument ensues, where Jordan tells B that she and Sophie had sex before they got to the house, and she also criticizes Sophie for playing the victim because of her drug addiction and a stint in rehab. Sophie then says out loud that Jordan is always talking crap about Alice because she hates her in her podcast. As Alice begins making a fuss, Jordan shoots her in the leg. The girls struggle for the gun, and Jordan ends up accidentally shooting Alice through the head. Sophie attempts to take Jordan's gun as they walk up the stairs, and Jordan aims the gun at her. 
B jumps onto Jordan, who attempts to fire at them. In the struggle, B throws Jordan over the banister, where she falls and is impaled by broken glass bottles. With her dying breaths, Jordan tells B to check Sophie's texts before she begins firing wildly into the air. Sophie and B hide, and B has become distrusting of Sophie. She goes somewhere else in the house to hide. When the morning comes, B walks around and sees the dead bodies lying everywhere. She goes outside and is found by Sophie, who tearfully tells her that she gave Emma pills, and says that she tripped and fell down the stairs, and Sophie feels responsible. B takes the gun and points it at Sophie, telling her to show her the texts on her phone. Sophie throws her phone, and the two begin to fight for it before falling into the pool. When B gets out, she finds David's phone instead. They unlock it and find a TikTok on his phone where he attempted to use a Gurkha sword to open a champagne bottle because he saw Grad do the same. David had accidentally slit his own throat doing the stunt, meaning there was never a killer and everyone died for nothing. Moments later, Max returns to the house and asks Sophie and B what happened. B then notices she finally has reception on her phone. The movie ends here, thanks for watching.